Before the Aztecs and before the Maya, there were a culture who are referred to as the Olmecs. It's considered to be the earliest high culture of Central America. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I explored the Olmec mystery uh, in considerable depth. Can you explain that to people that maybe for, in Fingerprints of the Gods? Uh, yes. So. It's considered to be the earliest high culture of Central America. Everybody's heard about the Aztecs. Everybody's heard about the Maya. But before the Aztecs and before the Maya, there were a culture who are referred to as the Olmecs. Again, we don't know what they called themselves. That's what the Aztecs called them. They called them the Olmecs, and it means the rubber people because they that a rubber-producing area of uh, of Mexico. They worked in uh, giant megalithic constructions. That what m they're most famous for is these huge carved human heads, uh, which can be on a scale of up to 20 to 25 tons uh, in weight, uh, and and which have curious features which have been interpreted variously as Polynesian, African, don't look like classic uh, Native American features. Keep that up. But one of the things one of the things I've realized is that there is no classic Native American feature. That that Na Native Americans are uh, a very have a very complex genetic story with very many different elements uh, br brought into it and we shouldn't be necessarily surprised by the supposedly non Native American look uh, of so these Olmec heads. What, they, what do we think those helmets were that they were wearing? Nobody knows because no physical example of such a helmet has ever been found. Just like no physical example of an Egyptian pharaoh's helm, a crown has has ever been found. All we see is the stone, the stone reproductions of them. Do they universally wear these helmets in these they stone all, they, reproductions? They pretty much all wear these helmets in 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 the Olmec uh, stonework. There's another fascinating uh, figure from uh, La Venta, one of, one of the uh, Olmec sites, which is the earliest ever image of a plumed or feathered serpent. Mm. The feathered serpent is a famous icon in Central America. Quetzalcoatl, who's the, the god of peace, the bringer of civilization, who is associated, for example, with the famous um, pyramid of, of Kukulkan, which is just another name for Quetzalcoatl at Chichen Itza, where on the spring equinox a, a shadow effect creates the image of a serpent coiling down the stairway and joining with the carved head of the serpent. At the, there's the, the image from Leventa. That's the earliest image of a plumed serpent uh, in the Americas. So and, and sitting in the middle of it, and I made a big deal out of this because I think it is a big deal in Magicians of the Gods, sitting in the middle of it is this human figure who's holding this strange bag in his hand. Mm. And it's just a fact that those identical bags are found in ancient Sumer in the hands of individuals who were considered to be civilization bringers and they also show up on Pillar 43 at Gobekli Tepe. Uh, oh. I call them man bags uh, and in that case at Gobekli Tepe we know they're at least 11,600 years old. So I wonder if we're looking at a sort of badge of office of a group of civilizers who traveled around the world trying to bring back to life a lot. Um, when I interrupted you to talk about Quetzalcoatl, mm. what, what were you about to say? I can't remember. Oh. I'm in California I've been smoking lots of dope, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about different things in the Amazon. Should we rewind and figure out what we said? Yeah, the serpent god you were talking about. Uh, before Quetzalcoatl, before that. Um, I have another question. The, the Olmecs, did, you, you were talking about the genetics of these um, uh, people that live in Native Americans. That it, They vary widely. Mm. But the Olmecs seem to have very similar features. The thick lips, the yes, wide do. noses. Why do we think that is? Well, this is uh, part of a, a curious mystery that is not unconnected to the genetic mystery. Uh, it's been known by archaeologists for quite a long time that there are anomalous skulls uh, in parts of Brazil uh, which appear to show uh, very strongly Polynesian or African features very much like the features that we see mm. on the on the Olmec heads and a number of archaeologists who got into trouble with their colleagues for this have used that to argue many years ago, 30, 40 years ago, that, that the settlement story of the Americas is much more complicated uh, than we've, you know, than, we, than we've realized. And, and what, the, what the DNA is doing is uh, it's telling us that there was something really weird uh, happen, happened with settlement. They, you see, what happened with those um, African or Polynesian looking skulls 
was that they were tested for DNA uh, when DNA technology was not as advanced as it is today. And what that DNA showed was that they were more closely related to modern Native Americans than they are to any other people in the world. So the notion that there was some connection with Polynesia or Africa was dismissed. But now that we have very firm evidence of an Australasian genetic signal, Aust Australian Aborigines, Papua New Guinea, Melanesians, with those kind of features, now that we have the genetic evidence that, that is found in the Amazon, we have to go back to that old evidence and, and reconsider it. Wow. Yeah, I would love to find out what that is. The, the, they've always fascinated me. The, the Omex, it's always been such a strange image. The, the large heads with mm. the helmets on them and how... Do they universally look like that? I mean, they have all the all of the features are very, very similar. Wow. They're very, very, very similar. And always with the clips. helmets. And almost always. I won't, I won't claim that every single Olmec head has a helmet on it because mm. I think I've seen one that didn't. It's quite a while ago since I explored the the Olmec area. But what's fascinating about them is they are they are supposedly the first high civilization of Central America. That they create structures on a massive scale. That you can see connections between them and the later the later Maya. That whole mystery of the Mayan calendar was clearly inherited from the Olmecs. It wasn't something the Maya made up. The Olmecs used that same symbolism. So the Mayan calendar is actually an Olmec calendar. And if we then consider the possibility that the Olmecs may just be the latest, the, the, the earliest surviving manifestation of that calendar. It could go back much further than that. If you like this video, please leave us a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.